So in this problem, I've got a block of ice starting at time equals zero. It's got a velocity of 2i plus j, and it's going to be melting at 2 grams per second for 30 seconds. And during that time, it's got a constant force, f equals 3j. So we're going to try to figure out what the velocity is after all of this. Now, the first thing we want to try to do is figure out what the melting at 2 grams per second means. So that means that the change of mass over the change of time is equal to negative 2 g over s. One second. Okay, so that's something that we can use later in our equations. And the next thing we want to think about is what are the variables that we know? Because we know m, and we know v, and we know f. So these three variables are going to be linked by the function. This f is the derivative of momentum, mv. Okay, so force is the derivative of momentum. That's from physics. And now we can use the uh, the, the rule that we that we know. I forgot the derivatives. dm over dt times v plus dv over dt times m. I think that's just the product rule, right? And then here, this is supposed to be equal to f. Now, we know that the f here is equal to 3 j, but there's no i component to this. So let's focus on the i component first. We'll say it's zero because it doesn't really have an i component, but that's going to be equal to this. So dm over dt, and that's going to be, uh, and this is for the i side i component. And over here, we'll do the j component later. But for i, we have dm over dt is again going to be negative two. And then we have v, that's the initial v, and the i direction is going to be 2. And then we have plus dv over dt. We don't know that, so we're going to put that there and that. And the mass is 100. Okay, great. So now we can actually solve for this. We're going to get 4, negative 4. We'll put that on the other side. So we've got 4 equals, and um, we can move, move also the dt on the other side. And that's going to equal to 100 dv. So in the end, dt is equal to 25 dv. And uh, if I wanted to integrate this, what I'm going to do is integrate from t0 to t final. And I'll do the same thing for velocity to v final. And if I do that, then this side is going to be simple. So it's going to be the integral. What are these values? t0 is 0, and tf is supposed to be 30 seconds. And velocity initial is supposed to be 2 in the i direction, and then the final velocity, we don't know. So we're going to put that as v. Okay, great. So if we were to integrate dt, it's just t. It's going to be 30 minus 0 on that side, right? And if we do this, it's going to be 20, 25 times v, 25 times v minus uh, 25 times 2. So that's just minus times 50. Uh, put that to the other side. We're going to get 80 equals 25v. And it turns out the in the i the i component of the velocity in the end is just 80 divided by 25, which is 3.2. So 3.2, and this is in the i direction. Oh, cool. So let's try to figure out the same thing in the j component side. We know that f and j is supposed to be 3. And that's going to be equal to dm over dt, so that's again a negative 2 here, times the velocity. And the velocity is only 1 in the j direction in the beginning. And then we could say plus dv over dt, uh, and this is for j component, and then times 100, so that's going to be the same there. Here we're going to get negative 2. Uh, we can move that to the other side, so we can say 5 is equal to 100. Um, dv, I'll move the dt over here as well, and then that's just going to be dt is equal to 20 dv on that side. We're going to integrate again from 0 to 30, and on this side again from, well this time the starting point is going to be 1 for j, and then um, v towards the end over there. So we're going to get 30 minus 0 is equal to 20 v minus 20 on that side, and so it's going to be 50 equals 20 v, and the final answer, 50 divided by 20 is 2.5. So v, j is equal to 2.5 j here. And this is for the 
And so basically, yeah, we've just discovered um, that the velocity at the final VF is supposed to be like 3.2i plus 2.5j. So that's pretty cool. Interesting little differential equation.